Hello, Dr. Bidijo here. Today we're going to learn how to make a map tiled layer, or also known as a tiled map. And this is something that we use, uh, or we can use in ArcGIS Online for fast visualization of high resolution data sets. Right? And so if we are working with these high resolution ortho mosaics, we can then host them online so that they can easily be visualized, as you can see here in this example. Let me go ahead and turn these things off. So we can actually see, and I can zoom in, and you can see the actual tiled map get higher resolution as I zoom in, and it lowers as I zoom out, right? So this is an, a way for the computer and um, this map that's actually hosted on the server to visualize quickly for the user. Now this is great when you want to collaborate with other people. Uh, and they may not have a computer that can handle these types of data sets quite as fast as yours can. Uh, so I would definitely encourage you to do this in, in larger teams when you're collaborating. Right. So this is our goal. We're going to make one of these. Uh, and we have to have a data set that's already been created. And in an earlier video, I actually showed you how to do this in Agisoft Metashape Professional. You can see the software here. I've got my ortho mosaic here in the center. I set up a boundary and I use that boundary to be a clip frame so that I can export a clean ortho mosaic. And I also exported this shapefile here, this polygon. Right. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and prepare your data. You want to have an ortho mosaic as well as a boundary, some sort of polygon that's been exported, um, hopefully as a shapefile if you're going to be working in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so we'll open ArcGIS Pro. And you don't actually need to um, use a map or anything. Uh, you can open without a template, which is what I've done here, because we can, we're just working with two tools that we're going to quickly use in order to create our tiled map. So let's go over to folders. And this folders is in your catalog pane. And if you don't see your catalog pane, go to view and click catalog pane right here, and it should show up for you. Um, so we're going to right click on folders, hit add folder connection, and you want to point to the folder where you have all of your uh, data saved. So for me, it's in this external hard drive inside of a folder called sites. And I'll hit OK. And what you should notice is that it'll populate here once you expand the main directory for folders. You'll see the directory that you're pointing to here. Now our next step is to go ahead and get out the tool that we're going to use in order to turn this into a tile cache and then we are going to get out another tool to export that tile cache so that it's usable within ArcGIS Online. So first of all we can either go to view and geoprocessing and click there to bring up the tools. Right? You may already have it over here on the right hand side at the bottom. You can just look for it and click there. Or if you need to you can go to analysis and you'll see the word tools with a red toolbox there. Once you have this pane opened up where it says geoprocessing at the top, you want to type in manage. And it may be, it may actually populate before you can finish typing it. You'll type in manage tile cache. And that's the tool we're going to click. And then we're going to choose a place where we're going to actually cache all of the tiles that we're about to create. So we'll browse. Now what I've done is that in my project folder, I've actually created a place for this. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the hard drive again and where I have my GIS data saved in my special project. And I've actually created a folder within my ArcGIS Pro project here that's called tile making. So I'm going to save it in there. And it belongs right here in this folder west. That's where I want to save everything. So make sure that you click it and it does show up here as name and you hit OK. So this is designating the directory where we want this uh, cache to go. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'll call it West um, San Pedro. And I'm going to go ahead and put the word cache at the end so we know what it is. Recreate all tiles. We'll leave that the same. Input data source. This is our ortho mosaic. So we got to search here where we have that saved. Now I remember I put it in a different folder so I'm going to go ahead and search for my data. 
it's under sites. Yep. And here it is. This is our ortho uh, that I had done from the previous video. I'm going to click that and hit OK. That's the one we want to process. Now once I do that, the computer is going to think for a second and then it'll automatically generate uh, what it knows to be an appropriate um, sizing of the tiles that it's going to create. Right. And we'll leave everything else all the same here for ArcGIS Online. And we're pretty much ready to go. Um, there is one more thing we want to do though. It's here an area of interest. We want to go ahead and, and place that uh, clip frame in here. So we're going to browse for it. Now this is the, the polygon that we had made. I, we designated and called it clip frame in the last video. We're going to use it kind of as a cookie cutter um, to say this is from here in this boundary within is what we actually want to keep. So I'm going to click on that shape file and hit OK and it'll populate here. Now we're ready to hit run. And this may take a few moments, uh, but it shouldn't be too long. Now obviously the length of time that you're waiting here while this tool runs, it depends on your computer. Uh, mine often does it within a couple minutes. So once you've finished creating your tile cache, we're ready to move on to the next step. And we're going to hit back on geoprocessing and we're going to open one that's called export tile cache. Right, you'll see it probably generate automatically once you hit export tie and there'll be the first one there. Click OK. Now we have input tile cache. Well, we know we just created one. So let's go ahead and find it. If I look in here, let's see, I've got to go to my folder. I have my project and tile making. There we are. Looks like we have two things going on here. We can click on the tile cache, right? And hit OK. And output tile cache location. This will this could probably just go in the exact same folder to keep it all together. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and designate that same folder. And we'll give it a name. So whatever you want to do, I would I would choose something descriptive. So I'm going to put in West uh, San Pedro and tile tile map. And here we're going to actually change this export cache as to a tile package. Not this top one, but this bottom one here. TPKX. So go ahead and make sure that that is designated. And this is so that we can put it on ArcGIS Online. Right? And then Area of Interest, we'll do the same thing, where we're going to look for uh, that file that we had exported, the boundary file. right? So if I go in here, I can find it under San Pedro. And where I had saved in the export folder. And it's this clip frame. right? And we'll put that back in and hit run. And this is the final step of that two-step process here using ArcGIS Pro. Um, and what it's going to produce here is a layer package that we can then upload to ArcGIS Online. And I'll show you those steps next. So we've exported tile cache and let's go to ArcGIS Online. So here I'm already in ArcGIS Online, but we want to go to our content. Right. And so if you haven't done this before, you might want to get familiar with ArcGIS Online first and then come back to the video. Uh, but once you go to your content here, you can go to New Item. I'm going to make sure it's in the uh, Coral Redondo folder, which is where I'm working. Uh, go ahead and click on your New Item here. And your device is what you'll choose because you know you have it saved down on your own computer. I'm going to check. I'm going to check my external hard drive there. Um, GIS data. I know it's under my project in that folder that we call tile making, and it should be right in here. And there it is, the TPKX file. I'm going to click that, and that's what I'm going to upload. Now it's going to recognize what type of file it is, and it's going to say, "How would you like to add the tile package?" Well, you can add the tile package to be part of your content 
and simultaneously create a hosted layer. And I think that's what you're going to want to do. You want to actually create a layer where you have that tile package hosted so you can visualize it, right? That's the whole purpose of this thing. So we'll choose the top one there. And we'll give it a name. I'm going to just keep this one San, West San Pedro. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ortho. We'll keep it in this folder where I was working. Uh, this is for research, and you can create some tags here. I often will make a bunch of different tags just so that it's easy to find this once you start building a lot of content. This makes things much easier. Whoops, I already did UAV. Whoops. Peru, and you can see I've already got some of these developed and the Acuna Valley. And if you'd like to, you can add a summary of the data set itself and how it was created. I would encourage you to do so. Hit OK or hit Save here in the bottom right. And this part may take a little while because it's going to be uploading um, and trying to get it to publish your map layer. All right, looks like if I go back to my content here, we have West San Pedro Ortho. Looks like it's actually here. We have our tile package and the hosted layer. Didn't quite take as long as I thought it would, but it's up here. Now, if I go back to this map that I was looking at earlier, we had this uh, web map that was hosted here, and I want to add it in. All we do is go to Add, Browse Layers, and typically the most recent thing you added here will pop up as something that you can put on your map. So look, it actually did. And I hit the plus sign and there it is, just like I expected. It also has a nice cut boundary that I had cut in Agisoft Metashape Professional. Uh, and as you can see, as I zoom in, it improves the resolution. Now you can brighten this thing up and actually change a few things about it here uh, in the properties tab. Uh, under effects actually is where you can actually do some brightening uh, and contrast. But that's pretty much it. You create a, a tiled map or a, a tile map layer and you can put it on ArcGIS Online and share it with other collaborators. Thanks for watching.